Hey guys, welcome to Buts and Plot London. My name is Saira and today I'm going to show you how to create a square neckline top with puff sleeve in Adobe Illustrator. From one of Buts and Labs digital basic blocks. Well, first of all, here's Ralph with a bit of info on the digital basic blocks we use to create these tutorials. Hey guys, okay, so if you're new to pattern making in Adobe Illustrator and you want to follow along with one of our design or style uh, pattern making tutorials, it's really simple. First of all, simply head on over to the PatternLab.London website, go to the courses page or the courses menu, then pattern making course, and we have a whole bunch of completely free video tutorials that show you how to use Adobe Illustrator as a pattern making platform. For example, here we show you how to set up your workspace in Adobe Illustrator, specifically for pattern making. We show you how to use all the various tools in Adobe Illustrator, and then finally we'll show you how to add seam allowance and then obviously transform your finished pattern into multi-page PDF sewing patterns, which you can then share online or send to friends and family or even sell. Also, if you want to create your own made-to-measure basic blocks to follow along with these tutorials, in other words, the digital blocks we use to create these tutorials, simply head to the PatternLab.London website. You can then go to the Profiles tab. You can add in all of your unique independent or individual measurements, and then you can obviously draft your block in the lab, and this allows you to then select various different blocks. So for the bodies, for example, torso, it even includes the different fit um, options, we have different length options, obviously we have different seam allowances, sorry, different dart variations, etc. So you can really customize that block. If, however, you want to create something very, very quickly, we also have a site called designlab.london, which allows you to download pre-made, fully nested, fully graded basic blocks, which are fully digital and fully editable. Lots of fullies there. So you can then obviously use those uh, when it comes to our design and style tutorials. Okay, that's it from me. Thank you very much. And I'll leave you in the capable hands of Thyra. Thanks, Rolf. Okay, now let's begin. The first thing that we're going to do is open a new document by going File, New. And now we're going to create a working space. Um, I recommend 450 centimeters width and 450 centimeters weight because that will give us enough space um, to work and don't have all the pattern pieces together. Um, the next thing that you're going to do is make sure that you cross select the centimeters or if you rather work in inches, inches would do too. Um, but just make sure that you don't go um, millimeters because that will be that your working area will be very small. So just make sure that you click centimeters and press create and that will be the working space. Now what we need is the pattern. My one is sitting in the desktop so I can just double click and here is my edit editable basic this block and now we're gonna go to the selection tool and just drag a box to catch the three pieces and you can do um you can go to edit copy or you can do command z to copy and then you can then you need to go to the new document that we open and press command b which will be the shortcut or you can press edit and paste. It's entitled up to you. There we go. It's few um, navigation tools that are quite useful. So if you press command on plus in your keyboard, it will zoom in and command minus will zoom out. And with nothing selected, you can press um, the space bar and click. See the little hand? So it's clicking and when the face when the hand is closed when it's a fist it means this grabbing your artwork so you can just move around if you're just gonna touch your pattern pieces so it's not selecting nothing just the artwork so now we're gonna use this again the selection the selection tool drop down another box and we're gonna move our pattern pieces to the top so we are organizing the work and there we go Another way to um, access your pattern is if your one is not sitting on the desktop just like mine, if you go to file and open, it will allow you to search in your computer and just, just find it wherever you got it. If you download it, if you save it in your document, just double click and Illustrator will open it for you. All right, now let's start. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is focus on the sleep. So I'm just going to use the selection tool to drag the box. The box and just move the sleeve to the side so we can we got plenty of space to work and we're just gonna zoom in with the sleeve selected we're just gonna go to object and ungroup and do it again drop another box with the selection tool 
and go object and then group. So by doing that, what we're gonna do is to separate um the information that's inside them, the information that's, that's inside this leaf, um that we don't want, we can delete, and the information that we wanna keep for later, we can set it to the side. So then just drag the box and every and any object that you wanna delete, and there's um hit the space on your keyboard and everything will disappear. Um, I don't need to, we know already list this as pen, so I just, and now, for example, that label, we're going to need it for later on, so we're just going to click on it, and just drag it across for later on. Um, and now, let's start cutting this beautiful pattern. So now, this design is to the elbow line, but it can be done with any length, so you can Decide if you want short sleeve, you can cut through here. If you want three quarters, or if you want long sleeve, you can just leave this length. And my one will be over line. So we're gonna go to the pen tool, and we're just gonna draw um, the line wherever we're gonna cut from. So just click, and if you hold the shift key, it will allow you to keep the line completely straight. So that'll help us to make sure that the line is right. And by holding the shift key, you can do straight line, so you can do 0 degrees, you can do 45 degrees, or you can do 90 degrees. So I just want the straight line, and that's it, that will be done. Go back to the selection tool, so the line is selected, we're going to go to object, expand, and make sure this fill and stroke, uh, click, and press OK. And now we're going to select the line and the pattern, drag in a box with the selection tool. And we're going to go to Pathfinder. My one is sitting on the side. Um, if you can't find your Pathfinder, you can just go to Window and just click on Pathfinder and it will appear in here on the side of your, on the side. And so with the pattern and the line selecting, we're going to go to minus front, which is these two. See, there you go. It's a minus, minus front. I'm clicking it, and that means the piece is divided in two now. Now we're going to go to object and group. Use the selection tool, and that means the pattern is divided in two different pieces. So we want to work on the top. So now that means that we can delete the bottom bit. Now we know that this is the elbow line, so we can just delete the information. And we're not going to need this line for now, so again, we can delete it. Now again, this is based on design. In this case, I want the sleeve to fit into my arm. So I just measure on my elbow line, I want around 28 centimeters so then what we're going to do is measure the bottom line and then decide what size we want or one and from there we can um, reduce or increase the bottom of the sleeve to feed our needs so now we're just going to go to to the line segment tool so we're just going to click and without releasing the mouse just drag it across, drag it across, and that's how that's the easiest way for us to find out the measurement of this line. In this case, it's 3183. So if this one is 31, 31, 80, 83, and I want my one to be around 28, we say, for example. Um, that means that we need to take away in total 3.88. We can do around 4 just to make it easier. Um, which means that we need to take 2 centimeters from each side of the sleeve. So let's do that. So now we can delete this line because we create the line to draw um, to find out the measurement. So we can just delete it by getting the back space. And now we're going to go to the lips tool and then we zoom in 
um, if you press if you press shift and option on your keyboard this will create the circle attached to the anchor point of the corner which means it is a lot more precise and just release and then just back to the selection tool the circle is still selected so first so now we're gonna press enter and what we're gonna do is move the point two centimeters in on the bottom of the sleeve so then we need to move horizontally in this case everything that goes to the right will be two centimeters and if it goes to the left it has to be minus and then if we press copy it means that we keep the first point and it creates a copy on this two centimeters mark so let's do that horizontally we're gonna move two centimeters and vertical zero and we're going in a straight line so it's zero angle and we press copy and that's the mark of the two centimeters now let's do exactly the same thing but on the other side of the sleeve so what we can do is because we already go with the circle selected we can do the shortcut do command c and that circles go copy and if you press command v you paste the circle back into the artboard so then we can literally select and then we can place it on the, other, on the opposite corner if you will use the magenta lines it will help you to find the middle points so let's zoom in to see how precise it is so it's still not very precise so we just can drag it and make sure this And just again, we're gonna hit enter and immediately, because I didn't put the new measurements, two centimeters, if we press two centimeters and no minus two, our circle will come out of the pattern. So we need to make sure that horizontally, we're gonna move minus two. And again, we wanna copy. So we're gonna keep what other circles. Um, now we're going to use the direct selection tool and so we're going to select the pattern then get on the anchor point click and just drag it so it gets to to intersect with the middle of the circle and we're going to do exactly the same thing with the other side select the pattern go to the anchor point and we want to keep it to when and we're going to stop where it enters it with the circle and that's how we take in the sleeve so we just literally made the bottom slimmer this measurement is completely up to you measure yourself find out what measurements you need for the bottom of your sleeve and you might need to take in a little bit more than my one you can maybe leave it how it was so just play around and now we're gonna go to the selection tool we're gonna zoom in a little bit now select the circles because we're not gonna need them anymore we just use an asset reference and now we want the pattern to be completely clean perfect now before we start modifying the sleeve we're gonna create the cuff in this case we're gonna create a full flat cuff um in order to do that we're going to create a couple of circles in this case it's very important to know the measurement of the of the bottom of the sleeve so again we're going to measure it to make sure we're going to go to the pen tool click on the anchor point and just drag a line to the other anchor point and this line is 27 83 we can say 27.8 just click out and the line is selected so we can hit backspace again so we don't leave a point in there so you click twice to delete the old information from the line that we just used and now to create a circle is a very simple equation I'm going to explain to you guys very easy 
So the measurement that we just took, this line will be the circumference of the circle that we're going to create. And we know that, right? So it's 27.8, we say. And now in order to find the diameter of the circle that we're going to create, we had to divide 27.8. 27.8 divided by pi, which is 3.14, which, which is equal 885. So have the measurement in mind, 885. So now we're going to go to the clips tool and we're going to just click. Now we can set up the measurements for the circle. So in this case will be the diameter, which we just found out, which is 8, 885. Uh, 885. So this line will be attached to the perimeter of this circle. Let's make it easier. So now what we're gonna do is create another circle bigger than this, which will contain the length of the cuff. In this case, I want my one to be 10 centimeters because we're working with diameter in order to create a circle. If we want 10 centimeters length which mean um, 10 centimeters length means they has to increase double, which means it will be 20 centimeters in order. Let me explain this again. Because I want my calf to be 10 centimeters, but we're working with diameter, means they have to be double. So if I want 10, I need to add 20 rather than 10, because 10 will be the radius and the uh, full diameter will be 20. So we need to take in consideration this diameter is 8.85. So if I want my calf 10 centimeters, my circle needs to be, this is the calculator will be easier. So we go 8.85 centimeters, which is this diameter. And we're gonna add another 20, which we 10 in each side. Just need to put plus 20. So the diameter for the next circle will be 28.85. So let's do it. We go to the clips tool, click. Again, we go into the clips tool, we click, and now we can introduce the measurement. So we just want 28 and 28 and press OK. And this will be the cuff. So now we need to make sure that both of the circles have the same center. Right. So to do that, we're going to go to the selection tool, drag a box on the small circle, and just try to put it as close as possible to the center. All right. So now to make sure the both center, both circles have the same center, we're going to use the selection tool, drag the box to select both of the circles. And we got something that's called a line. And again, if you can't um, see it, just go to window and press a line. And again, it will pop up on your side so you can use it. So now we're gonna make sure that is a line horizontally and there is a line vertically. So when we select again the two circles, they both have the same center. Let's create an example here. Yeah? So if my circle is here, obviously when I select both of them, the centers are completely off. So then that's when the align tool comes very handy. So we press horizontal. So horizontally, the two centers match. And now we need to do vertically. So they completely align on the center. This is very important. Another thing that we can do to make sure that they're right, just measure it. So now let's go to the pen tool. Yeah. 
let's zoom in. Let's go to any anchor point. Let's click on it while holding your shift key. Mm -hmm. All right. So click on the anchor point and move the line across holding the shift key to make sure it's completely straight. And that's 10 centimeters, so the measurement is completely right. From the anchor point, hold shift key, and that is 10 centimeters. And let's go again, pen tool. Let's pick the other anchor point, vertical line, hold the shift key, and perfect. That's 10 centimeters. So that means that. The two circles have the same center and we go 10 centimeters all around now we can delete these lines so have the line selected back to space and just make sure that we delete any bits from the line let the line back, back to space again and now this is two circles right so now we're going to create is um now what we're going to do is join them to create um, a donut shape. So we will have all this fill up and that will be just a gap. So to do that, we're going to use the selection tool, drag the box to select both of the lines and right click on your mouth. And we're going to go to make compound path. And now this means that it is one piece. Now that the cuff is done, let's jump to the sleeve. So now back to the sleeve. The first thing that we're going to do is divide, use the pen tool to divide the sleeve in two. So these magenta lines um, are very useful. So when you move your pen tool around, it will tell you when it's matching with any point that you already got drawn your pattern. So if we go back, we're going to find the center. So these help us to align the new line that we're going to draw with the center that's already found out and we got a notch for. So let's make sure it's in the center. Just click, hold your shift key to have your line completely vertical. And that's perfect. Now we're going to make sure that the line is selected. So select the line. Now we're going to press enter. Um, we're going to move this line horizontally, so we're going to create para parallel lines. So we're going to create parallel lines. So we're going to make sure that we move the line horizontally, leaving a copy behind. All right, easy. So we're going to move horizontally 2.5 centimeters, vertically zero, angle zero, and we're going to make sure that we hit copy. So we got now two lines. Now a shortcut. To repeat the last action that we just already did, if you press Command D, it will create another one. If we press again, that will be another one. So now we want we got the middle line and three more lines going to the right. So we're gonna hit again the middle line, press Enter, and as we say before, we need to go to the left, which means that we need to go minus. So we're going to go minus 2.5 and now press copy and perfect. And again, we can use again command D to duplicate the last action that we did. And again, command D. So, so now we go seven lines that we're going to use to slash this pattern. Okay. So now we're going to go to the selection tool click outside the pattern so now we can select all the lines together drag a box to select all the lines now we're going to go to object expand press ok and now with all these lines selected hold the shift key press the outline of the pattern as well we're going to go to pathfinder and again we're going to hit minus front now pattern is divided in eight different pieces so we're gonna again use the selection tool to drag a box go to object 
and we're going to make sure they ungroup so we can now move the pieces freely. Press and group. I'm going to do it probably. Yep. Now click outside the pattern. Um, one thing that we need to group is the side panels of the sleeve with the notches because we don't want to lose, lose the information. So we're going to go to object and we're going to go to group and we're going to repeat the same process, drag in the box, making sure that we got the notches as well. And we're going to go to object and group. Now when we move the pieces, the notches go attached to the side of the sleeve. So now we're going to use, now we're going to start spreading the pattern. We select half of the pattern, press enter, and we're going to move the pattern 2.5 centimeters. So 2.5 centimeters because we're going to move the pattern to the right. In this case, because we want to move the pattern, we don't want to copy, we just need to move, separate each panel by 2.5 centimeters. So we press OK, then we click outside, drop down another box, and select all the pieces minus one. Hit enter again, 2.5 centimeters. That's right, going to the right, and we press OK. Click outside the pattern, and again, we select the last two pieces, enter. 2.5 centimeters, that's right, to the right, okay. Again, the last one, hit enter, and we press okay. And that's the right side of the pattern, completely spread. Now we're gonna go again to the left side, again, which means we need to go minus. So we select the pieces we're gonna move, hit enter in your keyboard, and you're gonna do minus 2.5, and press okay. Click outside, then drag another box with the last two pieces that we need to move. Hit enter on your keyboard, minus 2.5, that's okay. And now finally the last one, enter, minus 2.5, press okay, and that's perfect, that's. Now what we need to do is redraw the shape of the sleeve. Now the first thing that we're gonna do is cut the side panels. So we cut from the top and the bottom and we go to the other side so we go to the selection tool click on the pattern then we're going to go to the scissors tool and click on the top click on the bottom and that means that so these two lines that we just cut they're completely detached from the panels now we're going to use the selection tool to select the whole piece we're going to go to object then group and again with the selection tool we're going to drag a box just to select the internal lines that we just used to spread um, the pattern and um, we're going to turn these lines into dash lines to do that we're just going to go to the stroke again if you can't find your stroke just go to the window and just click on the stroke and it will appear on your right hand side and um, we're going to select the dash line in this case, we want this to be 10 and the gap 5. This is completely up to you. These lines, they're just reference lines. So now we're going to look these dash lines. So when we redraw the shape of the sleeve, they won't interfere. To do that, we're going to go to Object, Locked, and uh, Lock Selection. Now let's start redraw the shape of the sleeve. So now we're going to go to the Pen tool. Click on the anchor point and hold the shift key to make it straight. And we're going to draw to find the intersection. And now we click and those lines are joined. And we're going to do exactly the same thing. Anchor point to anchor point and with the intersect, just click. Now the top of the sleeve is joined. We're going to add an anchor point in the middle to um, achieve the curve of the sleeve. So we're going to go to the Add Anchor Point tool, click in the middle roughly. We're going to go to the Direct Selection tool to move this line to where we want it, which is roughly around here. So that's the height. So if you use the arrows in your keyboard, that will help you to move your line bit by bit. And if you hold the Shift key, the jumps will be a lot bigger. So now what we need to do is curve the line. To do that, we're gonna go to the 
anchor point tool click in the point and if you drag to the side the anchors will appear and now we just need to find the right shape and this looks pretty smooth now we're going to go to the direct selection tool we're going to click on the point where the two lines were joined and we're just going to curve the line to make sure this even more smooth and go to the other side as well click on the point and see that circle that comes out you just drag it to the side drag it to the side and this will soften the line and this is a pretty smooth sleeve now the shape is completely done now we just need to add the notches so when we stitch the sleeve we go the reference and so to do that we're going to use the line segment tool and zoom in a little bit so you just click where you want it we're going to make um, notches that we are at one centimeter and with the displays of the angles we can just just drag it and select the position of the notch and that's pretty accurate and we go to the opposite side we want it here and we just use the display to roughly find out perfect and we're gonna add another one in the middle which we at the anchor point and these will be vertical It's easy in this case to put 90. Yeah, we want it completely straight. And now, so these notches that we add in is um, to know how much gathering is on the sleeves. So now we're going to repeat the same process at the bottom of the sleeve. So we want these to be 270. Whoop, whoop. Again, when you know exactly how many degrees meant to be, it's easier to type it in because the display sometimes. Is too quick and repeat the same process on the other side you just click on the point where you want it the little box pop out and just add the information press ok and the notches are ready and um, now we can't forget the notches for the cap so before we carry on let's add the notches in here so we're going to use the anchor points and you can do one we can do two verticals or two horizontals because this is circles is even so it doesn't really matter so let's do that and this one needs to be 90 degrees so make sure that these notches sit on the seat on the anchor points and that's perfect so back into the sleeve now we're gonna add a little bit of information so when we have the pattern we go a little bit more reference of why they're not just sitting there so now we're going to select the pen tool and we're just going to draw a parallel line with the length of the gathers holding your shape here don't forget so the line is completely straight and now we're going to go on the straw display we can add some arrow heads to the line that we just draw so we're just going to do arrow number three at the end and at the front and we're going to repeat the same process with the gathers at the top using the pen tool click anywhere on the line and we're going to the notch so we'll be somewhere around here perfect so we create a straight line go to the selection tool we're going to repeat the process we're going to add an anchor point with the anchor point tool around the middle and now we're going to go to the direct selection tool to move this line up roughly there and now we're going to go to the anchor point tool all right so now just click and drop down a lot and uh, that's the back when you're done just release and go again to the selection tool so we can add the arrow heads click 
three and number three. This is entitled out to you. You can use the eight, the seven, the six. It's just it's a referent line, so we know the amount of gathering that we go on the sleeve. And now we're just gonna add a little bit of text and we're just gonna put capitals and we'll be gather into half and that's and now we're just gonna make it bigger so with your text selected go to character and you can just put choose any size and you can preview what size you go so let's do 24 for example click outside to close the character box and now just center this perfect and now we're just gonna type and now we're gonna go back again to the type tool to type the information from the top of the sleeve and we're gonna put gather into shoulder and perfect and now we're gonna delete the all notch because we don't need it and this is a clean and tidy sleeve now we're just gonna go and add the label so we this piece is completely finished so we're gonna draw, use the selection tool to drag a box on the label drag it across to put it inside the pattern now we're going to use the direct selection tool to shorten that line so we're just going to select the direct selection tool click outside to deselect the dim label click on the line and just drag it in to make it shorter now we're going to use the big selection tool select the label again press command c to copy and command b to paste because we want this label as well on the cuff so now we're gonna try to drag it inside now it's completely perfect now we're gonna go drag a box with the selection tool and we're gonna move the cuff closer to the sleeve so we know they belong together perfect now let's make sure the information on the label is correct so this is a sleeve panel not really so let's um if you double click with the direct selection tool on the text it allows you to modify the text so we're gonna put a sleeve cuff perfect and the other one there's a sleeve panel which is yeah it's correct so this is done let's move on into the bodies so let's zoom out and let's focus first with the front so let's use the big selection tool drop the box to select the front and let's drag it to this side so now we can zoom in and just focus in this pattern piece for now first thing that we're going to do with the piece selected we're going to go to object and ungroup i'll probably hit this a couple of times let's see if it can ungroup no it's still as you can see the notch is still attached to the pattern so we're gonna hit object again and ungroup and now it's perfect so now we're gonna do like we did before set the information that we're gonna save for later to the side so let's select the label and set it to the side and the information about the center front to the side again I don't need to know what size because we know already what size we got and now let's clean let's just start working with it we're going to use the direct selection tool first of all to move the dark back to the bus point so zoom in properly to click on the dark and drag the dark to the bus point yeah that makes sense perfect and now the first thing that we're going to do is decide 
um, the width of the strap. In this case, my design go four centimeters, but this is completely up. In this case, it's four centimeters. So let's do four. And um, to do that, we're gonna use um, the selection tool. So just click outside the pattern. So now we're gonna go to the lips tool, zoom in, and as we did previously, shift and option on your keyboard. And if you go to the anchor point, you can create the point just right it's stuck into the anchor point now i'm going to go to the selection tool and press enter in your keyboard and we're going to move these four centimeters so for now we're going to move horizontally to the right and then later on we will place the circle into the actual shoulder line so we're going to move horizontally four centimeters that's a cool zero and we're gonna have a copy that's perfect so now with the circle selected we're gonna use the rotate tool click on the center of the first circle that we place so now we go the first circle that we create as the center to rotate this circle so as you can see I can go all the way around and it's still four centimeters so now it's on the line, so just proof, let's go to the pen tool, click on the center of the circle or the ankle point, and if you go to the ankle, to the center of the second circle, it's four centimeters, so that circle is placed right. So let's go to the selection tool, make sure that you delete any traces of the line that we just used to measure. and now we're just going to split the pattern in two to do that we're going to use the selection tool click on the outline of your pattern now we're going to go to your scissor tools and just make sure that we cut within in the center of the circle so perfect and now we're going to cut on the actual dart so in a little bit and that's perfect so as you can see already with the lines the pattern has been cut on two now we're going to use the selection tool and with that have this been selected we're going to go to the pathfinder and we're going to unite that piece so what we're going to do is completely close the pattern piece just like that and we're going to have to repeat the same process on the other side so select the line and unite now we're going to curve the panels to give them a better shape to do that we're going to use again the loose tools so let's zoom in now we're going to use the lips tool to create points to help us cut the panels in a better way to do that again we're going to go to selection tool select one of the lines now we're going to go to the lips tool just make sure that we're in, in the intersection and we're going to hold shift and option and we're going to create the point let's zoom in to make sure that this on the right spot um, if you select both we can use again the align tools so we can make sure they're horizontally in align and vertically they align so now our circle is right in the middle of the bus point let's close that and just click outside because now we're gonna we only want to select the circle so a little bit so we can work better perfect now we're gonna create four centimeters to go up and four centimeters down and that will help us to determine it, the length of the curve so in this case minus will go up and positive numbers will go down so let's do first minus so with the circle selected let's hit enter and your keyboard and we're gonna move vertically so then it's zero horizontal and it has to be minus to go up so it's minus four and we're gonna create a copy at this point so now with the circle selected we're gonna go to the rotating tool we're going to hit on the center of the circle that we're going to use as a reference go back to your circle and just 
drag it to the point and the line intersect. And we're going to repeat the same process, but now going down. So we're going to go in selection tool, we're going to select the circle, hit enter in your keyboard. We got zero horizontal, and in this case, vertical has to be positive number, so it's four to go down. And we're going to create a copy with the circle selected. Go to the rotating tool, hit the center that we're going to use as a reference to rotate, and then drag it and zoom it a little bit more to make sure that the line and the center of the circle they intersect properly. And now we're going to repeat exactly the same process for the other line. So let's go to the selection tool, select the circle, hit enter in your keyboard, zero horizontal for vertical, and copy. Now with the line. Perfect. Now with the circle selected, let's go to the rotating tool, click on the center that we're going to use as a reference to rotate and drag it to the intersection with the line and that's perfect now we're going to go to the big selection tool select one of the sides of the pattern so now we're going to use the direct selection tool to curve the line so now we're going to click on the point so let's click on the line first and now we're going to click on the point and then we're going to use the circle to curve the pan. So click on the circle and just drag it to the left to the two points hit the circles that we just create. And that's perfect. And now let's repeat the same process but with the other side. So let's hit the line first, then click on the point and then curve. In this case, we're going to have to zoom out. So command minus and you still see the circle so keep dragging it to the point that the blue marks get inside your circles. So that's perfect. So now it's perfect. Let's move into the neckline. Now again this is a design decision. You can drop your neck as much as you like. Um, in this case will be 13 centimeters but you can measure in yourself and decide if you want it longer or shorter you can even measure from your bust line and decide how higher you want it from there so let's do this again we're gonna use this tool let's zoom in a little bit we're gonna go to the anchor point hit shift and option and the keyboard and create that perfect circle. Perfect. Now we're gonna go to the selection tool, hit enter in your keyboard. We're gonna move again vertically and we're gonna move with positive numbers. So we go zero horizontal and we say we're gonna drop this one 13. So we're gonna hit 13. Um, again, we wanna copy and that's perfect. Now, now we're gonna use this point to draw a line so we're gonna slash the pattern so we're gonna go to your pen tool make sure that we align with the center of that point that we just draw hold the shift key so we can keep the line straight and with the line selected we're gonna go to object expand press ok now hold your shift key so we can select at the same time the outline of the pattern we're gonna go to the pathfinder um, we're going to do minus front and the pattern is slashed already. Now we've got that panel divided in two. Now we're going to go to the direct selection tool to delete the piece that we don't want to use. So select the line and you might have to click a couple of times to the whole piece is completely delete. And then we're going to use the big selection tool to clean up a little bit. So let's delete all the points that we create as a reference. So select the circle or select the point and hit back to space in your keyboard and keep doing it to all the circles are out.
graph, and then we can delete as well the bus point because we already use as a reference. Be careful you do delete, you don't delete anything that you don't need. And in case if you delete anything important, we just go to command Z and it just undo the last action. And if you go to edit, you can do undo and redo. Just in case. And now, sorry, again, let's delete the bus point. So now let's delete the bus line as well. And the information, because we know already where the bus line is. So now the last thing that we need to do is add the notches so we know where the panels match. Um, we're gonna use to we're gonna go to the line segment tool. Let's press in the anchor, and that's perfect. Now we can move this panel across and add another notch. So again, you're gonna go to the line segment tool, click on the add component, and in this case will be 180, and press OK. So now the notch is ready. The last thing that we need to do is add the label with the information. So let's use the big selection tool, select the label, and we're gonna do Command C to copy and Command V T paste, or you can do it through edit, copy and edit, paste. And we're gonna go to the direct selection tool to modify the text. So one will be the front panel and the other one be the front side panel. So let's add this one and front, so capital side panel. And now the labels can go back into the pattern. So just drag the box, just drag the box and just drag it into the pattern. And again, if you go to the direct selection tool, you can just click out, click back on the line, and just drag the line. So you can short it, and all the information will be inside your pattern. Again, repeat the process. Selection tool, drag the box, drag the label back into the pattern. Center. And go to the direct selection tool, click outside, click on the line and let's shorten the line. Perfect. The last thing to do is add it back the information. The, the center form will be cut on fold. Perfect. Now it's time to move on into the back. And again, we're going to repeat the same process. The first thing to do will be with the selection tool the box and ungroup the piece. So object and group. Let's do it another time. And group. Let's see if everything is going to be. In. Yep, looks very good. So now let's move the information that we're going to say for later to this side. So label comes out. The center back comes out, and we can delete the size because we know what size this one is. And now again, if you modify the shoulder dimension, just be consistent and have the same measurement at the front and at the back. So let's do that. My one was four centimeters. So let's zoom in and do four centimeters. So again, with the Eclipse tool, let's go to the anchor point, shift and option, create a point, create a point, so it's in the center. Go to the selection tool, hit enter in your keyboard, and we're going to move horizontally. And again, going to the left has to be minus, so it will be minus four, and vertical will be zero. And we want a copy, perfect. And now, with that circle selected, we're going to go to the rotating tool, hit the center of the previous circle, and just drag it to the point they both the circle and the line match and that's perfect now we're going to use the selection tool to select the outline of the pattern 
So we're going to go to scissors tool and snap where they intersect. And go back and do exactly the same thing on the door. So again, as we did previous, we divided the pattern in two. Now we need to unite them. So with the selection tool and that side of the pattern selected, we're going to go to the pathfinder and unite. And we're going to select the other side of the pattern as well and do the same, unite. Now let's shape the panels. So we're going to go to the anchor point and we're going to click on the bus line and we're just going to curve the line so it gets a better shape. That will do. Now we're going to cut the panel just from the bus line up. So when we're done, we need to drag the handle all the way back so we're not modifying the door. And we're going to go back to the selection tool, select the other side, and do exactly the same thing using the anchor point. Click on the point and just drag and try to match just the lines as much as possible. Then release and again. Click on the handle and drag it back to the bus line. And that's perfect. Again, this is a desired decision. So you can decide how much you want to drop your neck. In this case, I'm going to do my bag um, 16 centimeters. Now again, we're going to the ellipse tool. Um, go to the anchor point, shift and option. And just create a point. Selection tool. Hit enter in your keyboard and we go in vertically and in this case has to be positive numbers so it's horizontal zero of course and vertical I say 16 so it's 16 going down and we want our copy and that's perfect so again we're going to use the pen tool to divide this panel so we can cut it and hold your shift key what you're drawing so you get perfect straight line with your line selected go to object expand press ok and now if you hold the shift key and select the outline of the pattern both bit selected so now we're going to go to pathfinder and minus minus front perfect and now click outside let's go to the rec selection tool and let's click on the piece that we're going to delete. Perfect. Now we're going to go to the selection tool and start cleaning all the points that we create just as a reference, as we did previously. And that is looking pretty good. So now we just go left to add the notches. So let's zoom in. And we're going to go to this line segment tool. Just click on the anchor point and we're going to do one centimeter and it will be 180. So we can press OK and now we're going to go to the selection tool and we can just move sorry, selection tool and we can just move this panel and add the notch in this one as well. So we're going to go to the anchor point and in this case that has to be zero. And that's perfect. So now we got the notches as a reference, so that will be the point where both panels match. And now the only thing that we got left is adding the labels back. In this case, I won't be cutting my bag and unfold because I need the zip at the back, so that label can be deleted for me. But if you're gonna cut it in half, make sure that you put it back in your pattern. And now Let's use the selection tool to select the label, command copy and command V to paste. And as we did before, let's go to the direct selection tool to modify the text. Um, we're going to do by back side panel. So we can so we can have a better understanding of which piece is which. So now let's drag the label back into the panel and again if you go to the direct selection tool just click on the bottom of the line 
double click and you can just drag it to make it fit on so you can drag it to fit on your pattern selection tool to drag the label drag it back into the pattern and just bring the center perfect now we're going to go to the direct selection tool click our side click on the line double click and drag it up so you match and as we did before let's clean up we can delete all the lines so we don't get confused and that is perfect now big selection tool and let's put all our pieces together because the last step that we go left is adding the seam allowance Okay, let's do it again, let's drag the selection tool, move the pieces closer, and now the sleeve. On this sleeve now, um, the only thing that's not going to let us move the dash line that we locked previously. So what we need to do is go to object and unlock old. And now we are allowed to move everything. Yeah, perfect. So now let's just drag it across so we can have them all together. Okay, almost done. Last step. Let's add the seam allowance in a second. So now we're going to use the selection tool and hold your shift key on the keyboard so you can keep clicking on the outline of each pattern and we can add all the patterns at the same time. So we can do the same allowance at once. Now we're going to go object, we're going to go to path, offset path, and we're going to make sure there's one centimeter and press OK. Before we press anywhere else, we're going to go to the stroke and we're going to change the weight of this line. So we're going to make sure they're thicker so it's easier to identify where we should cut. And that's perfect. So that's it from me and I hope you enjoy watching this tutorial. Once again, if you like to create your own make to measure digital basic block to follow this tutorial, then take a look at the bottom of this post. If you are watching on YouTube, then please click on the link in the description to view the tutorial post and access those links. And if you like to see the finished product from these patterns and have some tips on how to do it, please follow me on Instagram at thyra.a.co and guys share with me how your one came out let me see what variation you guys did and thanks for watching see you soon